Having optimal settings is crucial to getting the most FPS possible as well as giving you the best chances to win. That's why I'm here to share with you the brand new best competitive settings in Fortnite Chapter 4. But right before we get into it, please take two seconds to pop in code COSMOS in the item shop. The support really means a lot. So then getting into the graphic settings, you're of course going to want to start by using full screen for your window mode and then we'll use 1920 by 1080 on your resolution or you can also use a stretched resolution if you're on a low end PC because stretched resolutions will give you more FPS. And then for frame rate limit, you want to set this to your monitor's refresh rate. So in my case, I'd set it to 240 FPS because I'm using a 240 hertz monitor. Next up, this is super important. You want to make sure that you switch to DX11 because there are a bunch of different settings that you need to change on DX11. But just before I do that, I want to talk about my colorblind mode. So I am using 115% brightness with Tritonope on 10 colorblind strength. This lets the game colors pop just that little bit extra, which really makes the game look a ton better in my opinion. And it also lets you see in the storm just that bit easier which is very important especially in competitive so now let's cover the graphics quality settings so i first want to start by talking about anti-aliasing and super resolution now there are people out there that have said that this setting does boost their fps i personally haven't noticed any huge fps changes when i've used this setting but i want you to try out either tsr epic or tsr low and see if that actually boosts your fps or not next up for 3d resolution if you're on a low-end pc you want to go ahead and set this between 70 and 85 percent if you're on a medium end PC, you want to set it between 80 and 95%. But if you're already on a high end PC, there's really no reason to change it. So this is more so for the low and medium end PC players. And then with shadows, global illumination, and reflections, turn all three of these off. Next up for view distance, you want to set this to either medium or far, strictly competitively speaking. This is because you'll be able to see builds and weapons from a lot further away, which in competitive is extremely important. And then you want to have your textures, effects, and post processing all on low. And then in advanced graphics you can have show fps turned on or off doesn't matter and then have use gpu crash debugging turned off and if you have an nvidia graphics card you should have another setting down here that lets you enable nvidia reflex low latency and you're going to want to go ahead and set that setting to on plus boost if you have that setting available to you another quick tip for those of you who are on a low end pc and could use some more fps go ahead and go to the settings cog wheel scroll all the way down until you see these four replay settings and go ahead and turn them all off but then on the sensitivity side i use 800 dp and 9.2% on my X and Y and then 35.5 on both my target and scope sensitivities. And then for my build and edit sense, if you are on keyboard and mouse, I recommend setting this to 135% on your building sense and 125 on your editing sense. And then down here in double movement, if you're watching a video about the best competitive settings and you're not using double movement, bro, what are you doing? You gotta use it. This is literally the best setting for competitive. Definitely turn this on and use my settings. And if you find that my settings are too fast or too slow, definitely go ahead and tweak it around a little bit until it feels perfect to you and then in my sound settings i of course have visualized sound effects on that's also a setting that i really recommend you use as well you just turn it on and it gives you a bunch of visual indicators for nearly everything you could think of from chest reboot bands pretty much anything but now let's go into some games so i can show you why these settings are so good edit that edit that edit that cone maybe oh actually cone what are you doing bro we're literally standing there oh my god i missed no way Oh, I didn't miss that time. Come on, bro. Oh my God, we cloned him. Oh, let's go. I raised my sensitivity the other day, man. I think I got to lower it again. I think it's too high. I'm missing a lot of my edits, it feels like. Oh. Oh. Oh, no. Edit the wall, please, bro. Yeah, let's go. GG's, bro. Got to get to this guy's level here, though. Oh, boy, what are you? Oh, <laughs> One bump, one bump. He couldn't take it, dude. He, he, man, I find people that use the twin mag in this are weird, man. They spray so much with that. Bro, that would, that would have been such a good clip if he was actually there. Oh my God. Oh my God, dude. <laughs> bro, literally just popped. Oh my God. No way, bro. Oh! Let's go! Oh my god, bro! Let's go! Oh, dude. I'm like the flash on these settings, dude. Woo! Let's go! Alright, now I think it's time that we go ahead and test these settings out in some realistic 1v1s. So let's go ahead and do that.
Oh my god, bro. These settings are just way too good. 142. Dude, he's so close to gone, man. Bro, why are you drinking minis in the open, dude? What are you doing? All right, so I'm going to exclusively kill this guy with the red eye, not using my shotgun. Okay, maybe this will be a little harder than I thought. I got to, like, play a little bit more passive. I'm low on ammo. There, I'm back. I'm back in the game. 72. Okay. Oh, cracked him. I don't want to get too confident, though. Give me that. Give me that, please. Let's go, bro. We got him. Oh, my God. Dude, I'm I'm nuts. I'm just nuts. <sighs> oh my god. But that's gonna wrap up today's video, guys. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more videos like this in the future, please be sure to like and subscribe. Also, if you want to support me further, please consider using code Cosmos in the item shop. But thank you so much for watching until the end of this video. I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day, and I'll see you all in the next one.